about either when I said that. And I said, and you're obviously not used to people... Because, dude, I got a $20,000 watch. I don't need you. This is yeah. worth more than your house. Yeah. Hey, he said, he said it again. Yeah, he said it for a second time. He said it again. He said, uh, we don't need you, man. Like, if you don't want to come on, that's fine. We'll end it now. But you go, First, you want to read the contract. Then you didn't tell me that you don't have money. Then yeah. get out. Like, he's like, we don't need Speaking of watches, if you are in debt, you have no business buying luxury items, especially if, not, if you don't have any money in an investment account that's going towards your retirement. If you are in debt and have no money in some type of investment, but you're buying luxury items, you're hustling backwards. Suppose that you were 18 years old and that you wanted to buy a Rolex Submariner for a price of around $8,000. Now, is that a wise decision? Well, what if instead you had invested that money towards your retirement? And let's assume that you'd like to retire at the age of 62. How much would you have after those 44 years? Well, that's what I wanted to know. So I pulled up an investment calculator and I plugged in the numbers. They say that a good investment is one that doubles every seven years. And to accomplish that, you need to get a return rate of around 10%. So if we start with an initial investment of eight grand for a term of 44 years with no additional contributions, at the end of that time, you would have $530,000. Now, of course, part of the cost of ownership with Rolex is service, which is only around $1,000 every five years. But if we factor in a small contribution of an additional $200 a year, the sum total of our investment after that length is actually $660,000. Again, get into the habit of checking your bank account every single day. Constantly seeing negatives leave your account or make you more conscious about your buying decisions. You know those ones where you don't check your bank account for like two or three weeks? because you are nervous about what you see, you don't want to be like that. Especially if the things you're constantly buying are depreciating liabilities. Does the thing you're about to buy, does it help you make more money in the long run? Is it going to save you more money in the long run? If not, you probably don't need it that much. At least not until you reach certain financial milestones. Oh, and unsubscribe from Uber Eats marketing emails. You'll say bear guap, lose some fat, and have a fat emergency fund. I had to I had to unsubscribe from Uber Eats like a while ago because you know seeing their emails was just a constant reminder to spend money.